my family, brothers, sisters, where'd you grow up, that sort of thing. Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno, and for tonight's premiere, we'd like to thank the NSPCC for supporting a compelling story of triumph against adversity as an amazing British cast that bring us the true story of the best selling author, Kevin the Kid Lewis. Just slip your jumper and your shirt off, there's a good lad. Who did this, chick? She did. You mean your mother? How did you get involved in the film then? Um, well, auditioned like uh, most other people, so um, yeah, auditioned for the role and, and got the role. So I'm playing a 15 year old, uh, which is uh, very different. So I'm a schoolgirl with no makeup and big, massive curly hair. It's great. <laughs> he'd been there only to go to school and then he'd been locked back up in his room again. I can't go back there. I don't want to go back. What was it like to actually act out some of those scenes? Um, it was kind of different because I've have you know I have a lovely family. I've been blessed with a great family, so it was quite a shift. And you know you're 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 doing scenes with people that are just you know there's a there's a really weird vibe in the air. Um, it's not it's not happy. It's not a happy time. Um, How do you prepare for something like that as an actor? I put music in. I uh, just 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 chill for a few minutes and then and then get ready to do it. You just have to you just have to go for it. You've had the opportunity as well of working with a, a really strong British cast. What was that like? Incredible. I mean, Nick Moran, Natasha McCahon, Jan Grafford, it's, you know, Rupert Friend. He's, they're all amazing, incredible actors, very talented at what they do. And for me, it was, it was a great experience to work with Nick as he's like one of my favorite English actors. Um, to see him in a, you know, behind, the, behind the camera. So, tell me what to do. This young man has known nothing but hate and violence. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, nice. I'm looking forward to this film. I think Nick's a really talented filmmaker, and he's surprised a lot of people in the industry who, who you know, because he's that kind of chirpy Cockney actor, um, had written him off. And he's, he wrote a magnificent play. He adapted it into a magnificent film, and this is his second film. I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's done with it. Yeah, it's, it's great for British independent film, isn't it, really? Well, it's great for Nick, you know, and it's great for good storytelling. But I don't, I don't get so jingoistic about things. I mean, a good story is a good story wherever they come from. Yeah. But uh, he's a, he's a very talented storyteller. It's hard to raise money to make films very hard to raise money to make films without giant stars in them and to do that about a serious subject is almost unheard of so hats off to him for that alone and I hear it's a great film. Play a character called Lee who's not very nice. Uh, Basically he's one of the organisers of the illegal fights um, and sort of takes advantage of Kevin. Um, he's not a very nice man. So uh, is, it, is that obviously it's based in on real life? So is yeah. that is that quite scary doing something like that? Uh, no, not really. No, it's all, it's all pretend. As an actor, you have two autobiographies, and you have an entire script written by the man and the man himself. So, as in terms of a character study, it's amazing because you have so much material to work with. It was it was a blessing. It really was. Did you em emulate Kevin in his mannerisms and things like that as well? I did. Rupert and I worked very hard to make sure that we um, got it right because you, you can't really get it wrong. If you get it wrong, it's a little bit obvious because <laughs> he's there. Um, so we, um, we did. We worked very hard on, on different um, kind of mannerisms. I wore my... Um, he has a, he has a, when he was young, he was talking about how all his clothes were too small, so I made sure that all well, my costume was too small, and I wore shoes that were four sizes too small. To, it gave me a kind of a weird walk, and I, I lost about a stone, a stone and a bit of weight, uh, and it, it was very hungry. It's a very hungry shoot for me, um, but it really helps... Prepare the mind? Yeah, really. exactly. It gets you in that, that headspace, exactly. I was going to say, it's difficult to prepare for something like that, because he, he really does have a harrowing time, doesn't he? He honestly does, especially in my, my period is, is kind of the... I suppose it's the, the worst because he, you know, he's at, he's at this lovely home and then and then he he gets sent back to what he knows is going to be complete hell. So, you know, it's a it's it's a it was a weird six weeks because I was kind of you know in this you know negative mindset, but it was amazing, you know. I want to know everything about you. You must be very overwhelmed with, with your achievements tonight. Yeah, I think, I think the support and everyone's support here has been incredible. And the cast and everyone's cast and, you know, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. And, you know, to, you know, be out here, you know, on a, on a cold night and to be out here to support the film is amazing. 
Well, yeah, the thing is as well, but you are you really are a, 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 a bad story turned good, and, and it's the truth. Yeah, yeah, mm. well, there you go. And because it's because the lady yeah. in a very nice dress. <laughs> well, I was going to say, behind a <laughs> successful man is a strong woman. Yeah, yeah. very strong, very strong. She told me to go out and get a new pair of shoes yeah. today. That's how strong I thought I did. Look, I had to go out and get a new pair oh, of shoes. Oh, very nice Look. too go, as well. Right. It's okay. definitely worth it. Okay. And you also, you... you set up your own production company as well yeah. to get this film made yeah i mean that was that was uh, three of us we set it up and it i'm um, but with regards to the film itself we really left it to nick he had to put in his um stamp on the film and that was what was very very important so that, and, and you i mean you wrote the script the the script yeah. as well yeah. was that because you, you wanted to keep the integrity of of we, I mean, it has a massive following. We have massive following, uh, and, and we just wanted to make sure it wasn't given a Hollywood rose-tinted glass look. So that, that was and you're here as well in support of the NSPCC. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. It means a lot. I mean, the NSPCC um, do mean a lot to us. They are. Um, they do a lot of hard work, um, sometimes unspoken work, and we're very, very pleased to support them. Um, when you started to make the film, did you? What was it? What was it like? Were there moments where they was quite dark for you? Um, it was, and I only watched the first. Kylie's here. Kylie's just arrived. So Kylie's here. Kylie's just arrived. She's come to support my <laughs> film. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Can you, you know, believe you that? Believe it. No. no. When you were watching Neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should be so lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah. I just can't get her out of my head. No, she's absolutely wonderful, fantastic. So. You know, for, you know, she's come to support the film and I'm very, very, you know, honoured with everyone here that's come to support it. It's absolutely fantastic. Kevin. You did an incredible job. Yeah, well, I can't say that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did, yeah, I did all right. According to Kevin. Ah, that's nice of him. Yeah, no, it was great. Really, really good. Mick was the first AD. Hello Mick, pleased to meet you. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. I've got nothing to say. Hey, this is great. You've got nothing to say. Nah. It's always, you have. Oh, He's always got loads to say. He normally shouts though. <laughs> what was it what was it like working on the film? Oh it's fantastic. It's yeah. It was really you know, good. it was nice to work with a director who had very clear ideas and you knew exactly what he wanted every morning when you arrived. So in that in that way it was a blessing, yeah. What well, hard work. Oh, Nick, as well. he's hard really work. Be careful what you say, he's quite he's behind you. He's quite fiery. Uh, yes, we taught him everything he knows, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he just came up and said, what can I do this month? And we were like, uh, Nick, what you should do is this. No, he's great. He's fantastic. We had a really good... Uh, it's great. A great for independent film. Another independent filmmaker over there, director oh, Sasha Bennett of Bonded by Blood and Tuesday. Indeed. How are you doing? I'm very well. You're not interviewing me. <laughs> I'm so nervous when I interviewed you. I know. Why? I know. I think it's harder when it's people that you know, isn't it? Oh, really? Oh, God. <laughs> he's got a dark side. Yeah, well, oh. Yeah, oh, we've heard that. <laughs> oh, OK. You're not to see it, are you? <laughs> Sorry, darling. You don't see it. Yes, of course I am. Yes. No, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> I was also his first. I'm not security. Yes, no, you weren't Oh, was, did he? Did yeah. he? Yeah, I don't involve. Look at you, I you. smoking. I told you he's the best in the country. <laughs> I'm not this even isn't a premiere, this is his fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that's worked with him has got to come Shall, and go shall we go in? Something. Yes, we should. But I'm very much uh, looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, I met Nick and like me, he's sort of trying to just keep making films in Britain, which is, uh, you know, hard, but, it, it, you know, it's fantastic he's managed to do it. So, um, oh, both of you have, both of, on your second film, both out now? Yes, although he gets more money than me and I'm a bit annoyed about that. You should have been in lock, stock and two smoking barrels. I know, yes, I should have been. <laughs> Well, what a great night it's been here on a rather windy night, I have to say, in London's Leicester Square for the UK premiere of The Kid. We got to interview Augustus Prue and writer-producer Kevin Lewis and a few unexpected guests, which was rather nice. I'm Claire Bueno. We'll see you next time at Premier Scene. Take care.